How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, joined again with Aura to continue on in the Suzuha route for Steins Gate Linear Bounded Phenogram. Aura, your favorite event that you've been looking forward to, really since we started recording this uh, section of the game, occurred in the last episode. Would you like to describe what happened last time? Shower with your dad simulator got interrupted by Mad Sundare Redhead. That's it. That is exactly what happened in the last episode. It's, I mean, that's that's literally it. That's a like that's a, it's it's less like exactly what happened and more like r slash surprisingly accurate. <laughs> it is it is pretty accurate when you think about it. Okay, let us continue on. I think we're near the end of this, and uh, man, it's been a long time coming. Okabe Intero eventually shows up at the lab. Dad starts loudly snoring on the sofa, so I decide to head out and kill some time. Wonder what I should do until he wakes up. Dad already agreed to contact me once he's up and about again. It wouldn't be right to wander Akihabara until then, but there's not much else to do either. How about we do something about that outfit of yours? After arriving at the station, Omega says something strange. What do you mean? I know he's just dad, but it's sort of like a date, right? Do not say that after the last episode, I will call the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a jersey on a date is kind of eh. Seriously? Seriously serious. But it's vintage from the 70s. I think the word you're looking for is old. All right. It might be a jersey, but it's no ordinary one. I wanted Omega to understand that, but she cuts me down right away. It's more of a disguise, right? To blend in once you go back to the 70s. Not even Beta is on my side. Gah. You're quite the looker, so you should wear something cute. You're one to talk. Is that weird coming from me? Pretty weird. Oh my How god, so? we're not getting anywhere. <laughs> I think it's rather... Axiomatic? 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 I don't I've, know I've word. never heard that word before in my life. Why do visual novels do that? Like, they're just like, you know what? Let me include words that no one in a normal conversation Let me conversation pull out this will... fucking dictionary and look under synonyms. Axiomatic, self-evident or unquestionable. Okay. There, there you go. That word again, again, we've heard it before. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Omega so looks it, displeased. Did we, was that in a previous video? Bro, I don't know. We've <laughs> been recording this for like two years. She grimaces at even slightly difficult vocabulary words. As we do with most of the things we record together. True. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is dad's not going to see the difference between a good or a bad jersey. You think so? She's probably I'm right. Sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Deku or Daru. Deku. Know, De <laughs> Wrong anime. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't notice unless it's like some like succubus out. Yeah, it has, it's gonna have to something. be super obvious. <laughs> like, Dad's has, always. Like, oh, go ahead. She has to just wear a hat that's literally a skyscraper. There you go. <laughs> Dad's always wearing the same sorts of clothes. He doesn't seem like the type to know much about fashion. <laughs> Michael and, and Daru are one of the same. <laughs> True oh, that. Oh, but he does like spats. Really? Oh, no. I overheard him talking to himself about how much he loves them. Spats? Yeah. Then maybe I should try and put the focus on them. It, are, are they talking about the shoes? No. It's like tights. Oh. 
Oh, Kidusu. Hello, Amine-san. This is Makase. Pretty sure this is our first time talking over email. Anyway, Okabe's been complaining for a while now about how Hashida doesn't deserve a daughter like you. I pretty much agree. <laughs> what the? And you can read the response. Uh, howdy, Kurasu Makase. I never would have guessed in a million years that we'd end up exchanging contact information. The past me, well, I guess the future me from this time period would probably be so shocked. I'd probably stick a it knife will, into- Okay, it will not let me scroll down on this. So I guess that's the end of that. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, nope, uh, this is the original. Damn it. Outbox. Can you not, we can see it. There we go. Uh, well, I guess the future me from this time period would be shocked. I'd probably stick a knife into my hand. Lol, 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 lol. I really wish he didn't have to include that part. <laughs> me I tried her. raising my jersey a little, but it doesn't make much of a difference. I personally think you should just wear something cute. Keep it simple. But I don't own any clothes like that. I have no clue what's cute and what isn't. Also, does she have any money? Probably not. I can help you coordinate. Let's go check out some stores. I don't even know where to start looking. I was never planning on coming to 2010 in the first place. If only there were four styles <laughs> stores in this area. The fuck? Four styles? Four styles? It's one of my favorite brands. It's in Shibuya, but the era and world line are different here. It might not exist yet. Shibuya, huh? That's a little too far to go on a whim. I checked the route map at the station. On the Yamanote loop line, Shibuya is on the exact opposite side of Akihabara. It's in the western part of the 23 wards. Even on a bike, getting there would take somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour one way. We don't have a ton of time, so let's take the train. The train? Why not just bike it? We can't ride bikes, duh! <laughs> There's no reason to force ourselves to go then. Besides, I'm not exactly thrilled at the prospect of getting cute clothes. I have a question. Do you think they have, like, weight? <laughs> if I they don't just know. If they just hopped on the bike with her? Like, I mean, would this, they just, like... <laughs> this whole deal that's going on here is unexplainable. So, I'm, I've just been rolling with it the entire time. Should've got a tricycle. <laughs> I don't want to travel across town on unreliable information either. Why are you so lazy, Alpha? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Omega calls me out. Dad likes spats, right? Then I don't see why I have to. I try objecting, but Omega interjects. Don't you want Dad to think you're cute, Alpha? She's cutting right to the chase. But being asked that sort of thing outright is a little embarrassing. That's... well, yeah, but... Then just do as I say! God. Oh, okay! It surprisingly worked, though. <laughs> yeah, it did. Which means, first things first, I have to figure out how to ride the train. Yeah, I that guess this is this hard. is new to her. After that, I follow After Omega's that... orders. That's me. Well, technically, it's my inner monologue. So... I know. I rode the train as told, searched for stores as told, and bought clothes as told. So we're skipping all this tight. Right around the time we finished shopping, Dad called, so we headed back to Akihabara. Oh, I just no. find it like. Ooh! Suzuha, those dance on the Fksoa. Geki moe na wake daga. I mean. It looks good. It, it do. I prefer the spats, though. <laughs> I, I also do. Uh. Cool. 
What, what is it? I'm just now like, if we rewind a second, just thinking that you're my inner monologue. <laughs> I am your inner monologue. I but, always have been. Just, uh, just any time I'm going to sleep, I'm like, oh man, I'm so tired. And then it's just Michael in my head. Hmm, did I take out the garbage? <laughs> or something? I don't know. One of the ghosts told me to do it. Do I look weird? Yeah, yeah. Good job! God damn it. Good job! You're living a pretty normal life in Omega's world line, so... I'm not Omega. <laughs> I'm not Omega, I'm Suzuha! Don't make things complicated. <laughs> Oh my god. So basically, if we ever make it to Omega, have Daru arrested. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I'm learning. <laughs> By fetishes, do you mean the things you like? <laughs> that works. I mean, it, I, that is exactly the definition. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Nani? Yes. I think she realized. I know. Nani? <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't synced, but like, like we were both it thinking the same thing. It was on my end. Oh, it, it was. It was on my end. <laughs> I, the Discord delay didn't for you, but for me, it was synced up. <laughs> nice. No, not at all. It's just that nobody's ever said that to me before. I was surprised. That's right. Nobody had ever said that to me. By the time I was aware of my surroundings, Dad was long gone. I never got to hear him compliment me even once. See, aren't you glad you listened to me? Omega is completely right. The... <laughs> what? Just when, we, just like, what is it? I'm just like thinking, I'm Okabe, you're cursive. Yes, it's great. <laughs> or I have no though. idea what you're talking about. What? They're always dogpiling Daru. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Omega is completely right. Everything she said turned out to be true. Yeah, I am. Alright, now take that shit off and burn it. The time we spend together after that exchange honestly feels like a dream. I know I've had it with them before. But the Sanpo beef bowl we have together for lunch takes er, ta takes even better. What? Tastes. Tastes, not takes. Are you kidding me? I spent money on this game. <laughs> even better than no, you it didn't. did. <laughs> did Wait, you? I, I don't. I thought you. I thought you had to buy Elite to get linear phenotype. I around. think. Uh, I think Jared bought Elite for me, and then that got me this. So you didn't even spend money okay, on it. Okay, but people in the are gonna point. spend money on that shit. You got it for free. People Deal are, with it. No, no, no. I bought it no, and no, no, I'm no, no, fine no. with it. People are spending money and this is what they get. This is their translation job. I don't know. I think takes and tastes uh -oh. are pretty good synonyms. Dad, do you mind if we hold hands? Two. <laughs> <laughs> Makase Kurasu told me not to go any further than linking arms. Good point. Sounds good to me. And so we decided to link arms, but... Ooh. Dad's cell phone suddenly rings. Oh, oh. I think I remember. <laughs> yeah! 
Oh, she's watching. Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> Dad shouts in surprise after reading the email. He suddenly starts looking around frantically. What's wrong? Oh, sorry. I <laughs> skipped your line. How timely. Yeah. I'm, I mean, the world line's gonna be erased anyway. Just go for it. I also immediately get a message. That was you, but whatever. Yeah, th thank you. Thank hey, you. it's still me. I'm I know. Suzuha. Fuck you. Amane son, that includes you. Don't let your dad get too carried away. Just messages back. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> That's rude. Looks like she intends to kill me too. <laughs> That's just... that's just mean. It's true, though. <laughs> With our arms linked, I can tell that Dad's actually scared. But I personally feel more relaxed. I might even be smiling a little. I just want, like, Kurosu to become Iron Man and just have her Amadeus as her... <laughs> AI. <laughs> Whatever. I wonder if this is Marcus and Kurosu's way of getting revenge. For what? <laughs> Do you go to the shower? I once oh. tried to kill her in the future. She becomes the enemy of humanity, known as the Time Machine Mother. The Time Machine MILF. Yeah. I apologize to her for it. <laughs> Never say it like that again, Michael. I, I'll, I'll call the police on you. I apologized to her for it yesterday, but I wonder if she's the type to hold grudges. So this, uh... Imagine holding a grudge so bad that it transcends time. Yeah. <laughs> Your thinking. baby self is like, I'm gonna kill now. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something she say. I chuckle, but Dad doesn't follow along. He suddenly goes silent and looks down. Uh, uh. What's wrong, Dad? Did I say something weird? I can't figure out the reason for his sudden silence. Uh, yeah. He got a boner. I retrace my memories in an attempt to find... Oh, sorry, I skipped your line, didn't I? I did. Yeah. Remembered? Sorry about that. I retrace my memories in an attempt to find the cause for his reaction. Maybe that was revenge for me reading your line. Maybe Michael SK is the type to hold grudges. It's I'm about not. the time machine, right? I arrive at the answer almost immediately. Mm. You heard about it from Beta while repairing it, didn't you? Mm. I don't have to confirm what he heard. I already know. Why would you tell him, Beta? Yeah. You Beta bitch. <laughs> that the time machine can only go back to the past. I mean, he was going to find out eventually. In other words, once I travel to 1975, I can't ever come back. How you know? Let's, uh... Oh, Mayuri. Susu-san, I heard everything. I'm so glad you found your dad. I'm even crying a little. Enjoy your date with Daru. <laughs> At least Tashina's happy. Okabe and Kurusu are just in the back like... This shouldn't have happened. How did he reproduce? <laughs> Honestly. I guess I can't pull one over you, Dad. Yeah, that's the only time machine the Resistance had. Well, I don't think she has to leave, technically. I don't... 
No, thing look at the date. A, We're coming up on the 13th. I know, but that's not convergence, though. Because if she... Technically, she could continue on this world line if Okabe never sends a message back in time. Because, what is it? There's nothing about her traveling back to that point that's a point of convergence. Because there's no guarantee they'll get the computer or anything. And plus, she already skipped her travel back in time date. So, like, she technically could stay, but she probably won't. Yeah. Anyway. Time? Time no can do. It's not all powerful, and the longer I'm here, the higher the possibility of causing an irreparable time paradox. Kagari didn't have that. <laughs> nope. worry. It's not a risk I can take, Dad. I'm sure you of all people understand that, Dad. Though I think this came out before Zero, so I don't know if they had the full rules set yet. I hate time machine shit. time for anyway? I love time machine shit. It's my favorite. Well, I'm more into alternate universe shit, but time shit goes with what? Yeah, that's what I said. Wait, did you read this? Uh, I, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of zoned out. In this specific <laughs> Honestly, world I zoned line, out too. <laughs> in this specific world line, you can't build a time machine capable of going to the future. That's just the way the world line converges. Here, no matter what we do, CERN will complete their time machine, leading to the realization of their dystopia in monopolizing of all time travel devices. The sole expect uh, ex exception. exception. Sorry, I'm fucked. The sole exception <laughs> is the one you leave behind in the future. Dad slowly lists each name like he's recalling them one by one. I steal my heart as best I can. I'll see everyone soon enough. In hell, even though I know it's a lie. Once I go back, I'll never see Dad or the others ever again. I already know why. I'm going to the past, remember? Once I get there, I'll just start my new life. I'll be over the age of 50, but I'll still be around in this era. <laughs> but I have to convince him otherwise. If I don't, he's only going to worry even more than he already is now. If he found out he'd never be able to see me again, he'd try and stop me. Ooh. Ooh. Heck, we might have already met. I could be someone you know, super well, going by a different name. <laughs> Creating a time paradox is always a possibility when it comes to meeting your past self. When I go back to the past, the me here in this era will be the only one left. I'm sure she'll probably reveal her real name at that point. Or maybe, since we're having this conversation here right now, the me of this era won't appear until after I'm long gone. That's the kind of person I am. I can guarantee it. She, okay, I feel like that's a mistranslation. Mm. I just heard her say Amane Susa or something like that. She just said her name, but it didn't appear in the dialogue. And sometimes, sometimes <laughs> they do that. Dad is trying his hardest to accept what I'm saying. He's doing everything he can. 
but even I can tell that he's never going to be fully convinced. A theory is still only just a theory. A game theory, to be game exact. Theory. <laughs> okay, well, that one was more obvious. And cut. You're a nice guy, Dad. <laughs> yeah, like the tip your <laughs> hat kind of nice guy. I'd always thought you were a more logical sort of person. Someone who strictly follows scientific theory and nothing else. I guess you were smart enough to go and build a time machine. So I figured you stuck to your guns no matter what. Which is why I always thought we weren't much alike. I'm supposed to be a soldier in the resistance, and yet, when the sniper rifle landed in my hands for a mission, I couldn't pull the trigger. Yeah. I feel the same way now. I'm glad I didn't kill Makase Kirisu. Talking to her made me realize that she wasn't some evil supervillain. But back then, I never would have imagined that I'd come to feel that way. I failed that mission, and because of me, many of my comrades in arms died. I killed my comrades, I killed my comrades, and I killed my comrades. I killed my comrades, I killed my comrades, and Aura, guess what? I killed my comrades. Aura. <laughs> I killed my comrades. I killed my comrades. <laughs> I killed my comrades. No, 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 no. Let me guess. <laughs> you killed your comrades? Yeah. <laughs> I felt that way for a long, long time. I refused to let their deaths be in vain. And that's why I traveled to the past. I got in the time machine that dad left behind and traveled back in order to obtain the IBN 5100. But I decided to take a detour in this era. Dad threw away everything important to him in order to build this time machine, and yet I used it for my own selfish reasons. I doubt Dad would have done something so illogical. And that's what I always thought. But now I know. Dad knew. He knew that I'd come to meet him. And that's why he entrusted the time machine to me. Dad lived his life in hiding from CERN so that he could send me off like this. Dad knew. He knew that I'd meet him here like this. And that's why I'm sure Dad's... But now, I think we're pretty similar. Dad wasn't born a strong person. The world that CERN created made him that way. Fuck you. <laughs> Which is why I'm going back to the past, even if you try to stop me. Why are the fucking translators trying to be all cute? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, how's about we avoid talking about this gloomy stuff for today? After our conversation, Dad doesn't bring up the time machine again. I doubt that's because he made peace with my choice. That's not something he'll ever make peace with. But he tried his best to smile the whole time we were together. Occasionally, his mask would slip, but he tried his hardest. Dad really is a kind person. And I think we should probably end it there for now, because there's another 25 to 30 minutes. All right. And plus, like, Unless at the end, I that. want us to have a discussion about this. You can have your thoughts, and then uh, and then we'll leave it at that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll save it here for this one, and then the next episode will be hopefully the last. Yeah. <clears throat> hopefully. Oh! Why is there phlegm in my throat? 
All but right. anyway, guys, <laughs> I hope... <laughs> just yeah. go with my own. Yeah, yeah, go for I it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Michael underscore SK's playthrough of Steins Gate Linear Phenogram. If you did, please let him know by the leaving fuck? a like on this video and commenting your, down your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe. He needs all the help he can get. Please, for the love of God, subscribe. There's a gun pointed at his head. If you don't subscribe, he's dead. Watch people not subscribe just to kill you. Anyway, guys. <laughs> I hope you stay super kinky. <laughs> That's not what the SK stands for. <laughs> That's what I think it stands for. Until you say otherwise, you can't deny it. I will deny it. Not No, until you... Just imagine it's just a weird birthmark you have on your ass cheek. <laughs> just an SK. That'd be pretty fucking wicked. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Stay fabulous. <laughs>